Given any positive integer n, let d of n be the alternating sum of its digits as illustrated below. d of 1, 2, 3, 4 is going to be 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4. d of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is going to be 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5. And d of a one-digit integer is going to be just the integer itself. So when given a integer, all we are doing is putting in plus and minus signs between the digits, starting with minus and alternating between plus and minus. So minus plus, minus plus, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now here is the question. Find the maximum possible value of d of n minus d of n plus 111 or show that the maximum does not exist. Before we proceed, let's take this time to recognize Quack Quack, who was the very first person to correctly answer this question last week. A huge shout out to Quack Quack. At first glance, you may conjecture that the maximum may not exist, because a d of n can be made as large as we want. For example, if you consider a number like 909, and we can attach a few more 09s if we want to, but if we think about this number as being n, then when calculating d of n, we are going to get the number of 9s that n has. So that's going to be 9 minus 0 plus 9 minus 0 plus 9 minus 0 plus 9 or 9 times 4. And obviously, we can keep on attaching 0 9s to the end of this number to make d of n as large as we want. So this is showing us that the maximum value of d of n by itself does not exist. But that's not the question. We are looking at the difference between d of n and d of n plus 111, so we should really analyze the interaction between d of n and d of n plus 111. So let's actually do so. Let's add 111 to this number and see what we get. Well, we're going to have 0, 2, 0, 1, but wait a bit. This part has been changed, but the rest of them has to stay the same. 9090, 90909. So when we calculate d of n plus 111, which is this number, the front portion, this part, is going to be identical, which means they are going to cancel out when we subtract them. So the only part that actually matters when calculating d of n minus d of n plus 111 are the last four digits for this particular n. This may actually convince you that the maximum value is indeed going to exist because only a finite part of n is going to matter. But there is one case we have not considered yet. What if we have a string of 9s? And who knows, we can end with 7 too, and we are adding 111 to this. For this case, wouldn't every single digit contribute to the final expression because each 9 is forcing us to round up? Not quite so. To see that, let's actually add 111 to this. And quickly, we see that the string of 9s correspond to a string of zeros. And when we think about putting plus and minus alternating signs to this, it's easy to see that we can simply disregard these pairs of 9s and these pairs of zeros and reduce the summation to, for example, 9, 7, 2, and 111 and still get exactly the same result at the end because we are going to have 9 minus 7 plus 2 on the top, 1 minus 0 plus 8 minus 3 down below, and that's what we had in this extended case as well. So for this number, only the final three digits matter. And in general, the maximum possible digits that we really have to care about is 5. Take for example 29891 and 111. For this one, every single digit does contribute to the result, so we can't simply cancel things out for this. In the same way, we could ignore 9s and zeros, or we could just take away the identical parts. For this one, we should look at every digit. But if you think about adding more terms at the front, for example, 8, 7, then these parts are the same. So when we calculate our expression, they are going to cancel out. So in the end, only the final five digits matter. 
This shows us altogether that the maximum has to exist because every possible value of this expression can be reached as n ranges from 1 to 99,999. If n is a number larger than this, then we have just shown that we can reduce that n to a number between 1 and 99,999 such that d of n minus d of n plus 111 stays the same. And this observation naturally makes us think of what is arguably the most efficient and rigorous solution to this problem, which is just to program it. We can program the computer to check every n between 1 and 99,999, evaluate this, and output the maximum. Partly because of that and partly because the casework that we are going to do in this video is very cumbersome, the rest of the video is going to be somewhat informal. That is, I'm not going to cover every single case. I'm going to cover the representative and what I feel are the most important cases, but it will technically not be a complete solution. But I do want you to keep in the back of your mind that a fully rigorous solution to this can be easily constructed using a program. So how can we try approaching this without using a computer program? Well, now that we have established that the maximum has to exist, let's think about some candidates for that n on which the maximum is reached. Well, one of the first n's that may come to your mind is 909 because at 909, our d of n is fairly large. But if we consider adding 111 to this, we quickly see that we can probably do better in two different ways. Because if we look at this, d of n is 18 and d of n plus 111 is 3. So d of n minus d of n plus 111 is 15. The two different ways of potentially improving this are as follows. First, we may want to have instead of 1 plus 2, we may want to have minus 1 plus 0 minus 2 plus 0. So instead of starting with plus, maybe we want to start with a minus and we can make this a negative 3, then that's an extra 6 increase. You can change this to 21. And this can be accomplished by simply putting 1, 1 or any two numbers that are not 9s in front of 909. We still have 18 on the top, but down below, we now have 1 minus 2 minus 2 or negative 3. So we have a 21 increase now. So that's one way of trying to maximize it even more. But the second way, which is interesting as well, is instead of subtracting 0, can we subtract a larger number? And evidently, the best way of doing so is to make it 908. Because if we make it 908, then instead of minus 0, we have a minus 9. We do change plus 9 to plus 8, but we get more than enough compensation for that. Here, we are going to have a 17 on the top, and down below, we are going to have 2 minus 7 or negative 7. And we see this is an even bigger increase of 24. This was 21. Now we are going up 24. Now, here is my assertion. I assert that 24 is the maximum possible value that's as large as we can get. To prove this, albeit somewhat informally, we will look at some representative cases. First one is when a number has no 9s. The second case being when number has a 9, at least one 9, and we are going from a 3-digit number before adding 111 to a 3-digit number. So adding 111 does not change the number of digits. We will also look at when the number has 9, and we are going from 5-digit number and we're staying at a 5-digit number. And finally, we will consider the case where number has at least one 9, and we're going from a 3-digit number to a 4-digit number. There are certainly cases other than the ones I listed, but they can be verified in a very similar way. And even within each case, we will not cover every single case. The sub-cases that we do not cover can be covered in the same way as well. So let's begin with the first case when number has no 9s. Well, in this case, so if we have a number and we have 111, when we put plus and minus signs in between, all of the A, B, C, D, and E are going to cancel out. The only part that really matter are this 1 minus 1 plus 1, and if the number had an even number of digits, we would have gotten minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. 
So in this case, we can only get plus or minus 1. Let's go to the second case, when a number has a 9 and we're going from 3-digit number to a 3-digit number. Well, if we have a 9b and 1 on 1, we do not want that because we're going to have minus 9 while we're going to have either 0 or 1 down below and we are already losing by at least minus 9 on the top. So there is no way we can make up for it and go all the way to 24. So having 9 at the center is not a good idea. We can try having 9 at the end and to avoid rounding, let's say b is less than 8 and a is less than 9. So we get a plus 1, b plus 2 because we are rounding up, then 0. In this case, we have a plus b minus 9 at the top, and down below, we're going to have a minus b minus 1. 1 minus 2 gets us minus 1. So here we have an increase of 10, which is hardly enough to catch up to 24. Other subcases can be analyzed in a very similar way, so let's rule out number 2 as well. If we are going from 5-digit number to 5-digit number, in the same way, it is undesirable to have a 9 in the second digit, such that we are rounding up before 9. That is, we have this plus 1 because of rounding up, so we are going to have a 0. We have a minus 9 and minus 0, so we are already losing by 9. And we have already seen that in the final 3 digit, we can only go up to, perhaps we can make a difference of around 10. That's not enough to catch up to 24. So we do not want to have a 9 there and have a rounding up. And we care about rounding up because the only point of having this condition that the number has a 9 because without rounding up, we are destined to get plus or minus 1. So when I say that a number has a 9, I mean that 9 is related somehow to rounding up. Now, if we have a, b, 9, c, d, and 1, 11, such that b is less than 9, then we're going to have a, b plus 1, and we're going to have 0 or 1, depending on the value of c, but looking at this, if C and D does not contain a 9, then C, D, and 11 can only contribute plus or minus 1. We want to maximize our chances, and clearly the way of doing that is to make it 0, 9, to make it 2, 0. So we have plus 9 on the top, and we have minus 2 down below. And this case naturally leads to the case we already considered, 11909, where we get the difference of 21. But we have seen that 24 is possible, so we do not reach the maximum in this case as well. So let's go on to the final case. The only way of going from 3-digit number to a 4-digit number is to have something like 9ab and 111 or 89b and 111. But for the latter case, we are starting with a negative 1. Whereas in the former case, we have the possibility of starting with a 9. So let's discard this case. But for the case where we have 9ab, we already analyzed it. We want to maximize this number while minimizing this. And the way of doing so is to have plus 8 and minus 9. This leads to the maximum of 24. So our maximum is reached in the final case. So let's go all the way back up. The answer to this question is 24.